Welcome everyone to one more session in Lead Code Solutions tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to look at the solution of kids with greatest number of candies. But before we begin with our solution, let me remind you of the Discord server named Edignite NGO. This server has been made by Prince Verma sir, an alumni of Edignite NGO. Over here, you can ask and discuss topics related to IT field. Additionally, sir will also post some useful content and updates from the topic in the same sector. Okay, and solve your doubts. So, if you want to go in computer science field or you want to excel your career in computer science field or simply you are a computer science enthusiast, then do join this particular Discord server from the link given in the description below from this particular link. And yes, do share this link with maximum of your friends to ensure more and more participation in the server. So, let us now move to kids with greatest number of candies okay i have copied this code to the whiteboard so let us move to our whiteboard this is this is our whiteboard okay and over here you see that we have n kid, kids with candies okay so given an integer array candies i represents number of candies ith kid has okay so if this is the this in this array okay this is the candies array so 0th kid okay here indexing starts from 0 assume that indexing starts from 0 so it has two candies okay uh, first kid has two candies then next one has three candies then next one has five candies and so on okay so uh, a kid has an integer extra candies okay even one more integer that is extra candies is also passed denoting the number of extra candies that you have okay that we have now we need to return a boolean array okay we need to return a boolean array of length n okay of length n where result i is true i if if after giving ith kid all the extra candies okay if after giving ith kid all the extra candies they will have greatest number of candies among all kids or false otherwise okay now let me just uh, show you if this was this is the example that was given okay let me have one more example okay we will have simple example one two three four and 5 and extra candies ec is equal to 2 okay if ec is equal to 2 we will take 1 okay over here maximum number of candies okay maximum number of candies is 5 okay max is equal to 5 okay and now let us also create an array first of all we will take element 1 okay this first boolean first element in the resultant array will correspond to this okay so it will be 1 okay so 1 plus 2 we will give all these candies we will give both the candies to this kid okay kid having only one candy now we will calculate the total what's the total total is 3 okay is total greater than maximum Okay, if it is greater than maximum, then the kid after giving extra candies has greatest candies of all the kids that are present, right? So, we will check if 3 is greater than 5. No, it is not greater than 5, okay? And thus, we will return false, okay? We will write false. Now, we will check for 2 and 2, okay? 2 and 2. So, is 2 plus 2, 4 greater than 5? No, it is not greater than 5. So, we will return false. Okay. We will return false. And over here, now 3. Is 3 plus 2 greater than or equal to 5? Yes, it is greater than or equal to 5. Okay. And thus, we will return true. Okay. Because it has greatest number of candies. Okay. It has greatest number of candies. Okay. And now we will check for 4 and 2. 4 and 2 obviously they will be true. And similarly for 5. 5 plus 2 will be true. Okay. So this will be the array that we will return. This will be the array that we will return. Okay. Now let us look at the algorithm. Okay. First when we have understood our question, our algorithm uh, will become way easy. Okay. So let us look at the algorithm over here. Okay. 
first of all we will run a for loop to find maximum okay so it is very easy to find maximum first of all int max is equal to 0 and we will run okay run for each and every element okay if the element is greater than max then max will be equal to element okay so i am just writing a single sentence over here okay i am writing a single statement over here find max find max okay now we will run a for loop okay we will again run a for loop we will loop through each and every element so i mean i am just writing loop over here okay i am just writing loop over here now we will uh, we will just write we will write uh, si okay si let us say candies or let me write candies over here because s can like you may be con get confused with a string candies candies is the array that is that is passed actually passed so candies i plus extra candies okay plus extra candies if they are greater than maximum if they are greater than maximum i am just giving an if okay over here and over here let there be an array of answer ans or let it be arr okay arr and arr of i is equal to true okay then arr of i is equal to true okay arr of i equal to true else arr of i is equal to false so let me write over here else else I am just writing in single line ARR of I equal to false. ARR of I equal to false. Okay. And then we need to convert array into answer. Okay. Like we, we, we need to convert it into a vector. Okay. So I am just writing ARR to ANS. Okay. And then return finally return ANS answer okay so this is the whole algorithm okay this is the algorithm that i have explained you briefly now let us go to our visual studio code and uh, look at the solution okay first of all we need to initialize variable int max okay which is equal to zero now we need to run a for loop for finding max okay so for int i equal to 0 i equal to 0 i less than i less than the candies size okay candies candies dot size i less than size of candies i plus plus and over here we can uh, we can write if if candies candies of i okay if candies i equal to sorry is greater than max is greater than max then max equals candies i okay then max equals candies i so we have found our maximum okay and now we need to get an array okay so over here let me just give write boolean boolean arr okay boolean arr and then uh get the size okay so it will be the size of this will be equal to the size of candy's array okay and now after for loop okay after one for loop let us uh, again run another for loop for int i int i int i equal to zero int i equal to zero i less than candy's candy's dot size i less than candy's dot size i plus plus okay hi plus plus and then i will run a for loop okay if okay if over here candies 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 i candies i plus extra candies extra okay plus extra candies extra candies candies extra candies if this is greater than max if it is greater than max if it's greater than max then then arr of arr of i arr of i equals true then it's then arr of i equals true else arr of i equals false else arr of i equals equals false false okay so we have written this code okay 
we have written this code now we need to convert our array into vector so std std then we will write vector vector and boolean boolean okay ans ans and arr okay from arr to arr plus arr plus size of arr arr plus size of arr upon size of size of size of arr zero arr zero okay so it's there and now let us return answer okay let me just move this way okay oops sorry and return answer return answer okay so we have written this code okay now let us uh, let us run it okay let us run it let us run the code and check if uh, it works okay so we are getting wrong answer wrong answer i think because we need to write greater than or equal to over here okay we need to write greater than or equal to i have just written greater than okay it's accepted now let us let me submit the code let me submit the code and check yes you see it's a success okay so over here this was the code this was the code for kids with greatest number of candies okay kids with greatest number of candies that's it for this particular session let's meet in the next session thank you everyone